Hello everyone and you're welcome to another insightful session right here on this channel with me, Tete Tete. Today, we will be diving into how you can create your Steady Link account. That way you would be able to apply to any school in the Netherlands. Yes, the Steady Link account enables you to apply to schools in the Netherlands. Okay, if this is the first time you are watching any video right here on this channel, I am glad that you are here. Kindly hit on the subscription button for me and then the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you would be notified. If you are a returning viewer, I am glad that you are still here and I know and I know that you are definitely going to find a scholarship that is worth applying for. So without much ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so we are going to start the video right from scratch but mind you i would be inserting all the relevant links in the description as well so that you can access the links directly and then head on to the various web pages if not you can always start your search via google okay so once you're on the google platform just type steady steady link link netherlands okay netherlands so you type in and then the first link that pops up okay steady link so you click on steady link and once you click on steady link it is going to bring you to this interface once you are here just click on create account okay so once you click on create account it brings you to this platform create your steady link account okay so personalia that is your personal information so then you choose your nationality i am Ghanaian, so i choose Ghanaian. okay then they ask you to scan your passport or your id okay so you click on scan passport or id then the menu is going to pop up verify your identity okay so that we would like to know whether it's you it's just a few simple steps we will guide you through the process of verifying your identity so you click on start i've got it and then you select your file okay just click on select the file and i just go to my desktop i have my passport on my desktop so i just load it and then i continue so the passport is going to load after the passport loads it is going to bring you to this page where you have your personal information so your names is going to take your names and then uh, the basic information from your passport okay so the information that you cannot change like um, your first name your surname your initials your date of birth and then your place of birth all those things are already on your passport so you're going to take that information from your passport okay so once it takes the information from there you just click on and they ask you to confirm the details okay so the details above are a complete match with the details of my identity documents the details above are not a complete match with the details on my identity document okay but they are a complete match so i click on confirm I have read the disclaimer and it's okay right so we click on next okay so preferred first name um so you can just click you can just move your mouse to the small uh, question mark there and read your first name by which you would like to be addressed by the education institution okay so i'll choose tete okay so i just choose tete -te. call me by tete -te, okay so my country of birth, I just type in Ghana, okay? So you can type in your country of birth anywhere you come from, right? Then we move to the next. Then now you can put in your current home address, okay? So if I am in Ghana, put in Ghana. My street name, I'll just say Labadi. My house number, I'll just put 233 there. And then my town or city, I can say Accra then uh, second address line um is optional you can always put something there or you can leave it it depends on you and then we move to the next okay so the next you put in your email address so my email address so my email address is master at yahoo.com 
then they ask you to confirm your email address so we do that again dot com okay so you choose a password okay so i just generate a password here with my browser but you can always put your own password there and then they ask you for your phone number okay so ghana is plus two three three okay so you just type two three three and then it pops up plus two three three and then you add so once two three three is there you omit the zero and then you continue with the rest of the numbers so you can do it for um your country that you represent always bear that in mind okay so plus two three three then my number is yeah so you just put the number there and then phone number number two you put it there correspondence is in english okay then you move on to the next okay so these are your details now your correspondence your email i have checked the details you just click on it um i agree with the general terms and conditions of steady link and i click on i agree and then click or touch the woman okay it, it wants to verify if you are not a robot okay so this is the icon of a woman but it's going to differ from uh, application to application so then i click on create okay so details have been successfully saved okay so after that they are going to send me an email okay so this is just the beginning phase okay so now they are going to send me an email and now i just wait for the email okay so i just reload my um email address so i click on activate your steady link account okay so i click on that and then I just activate or verify my email address, okay? So that is what you do. Just follow this process and you can create your own steady link account, okay? So once you are here, I just click on activate, okay? So now my account has been activated, okay? So I return to the login page. This is the login page, okay? So now, once you are here, now you click on login then now i put in my email address remember i saved my details via my browser but it depends on you so my email address is now here with my password so you put your email address here you put in your password here and then now you can log in to your account okay so this is the steady link platform where you're going to be putting in all your details and then you are going to be applying for the schools in netherlands that you want to apply to okay so this is the platform that allows you to apply to any school in the netherlands okay so the first thing is what you add previous education okay so the question here is have you obtained a high school diploma or a degree certificate if you are currently a student but haven't graduated yet choose not yet okay but i have graduated high school and i also have my degree and my master's as well so i just click on yes um so it depends on you when did you obtain your diploma or degree certificate if you do not know the exact date please fill in the first day of the month you do not need the fiscal documents from your previous education at this stage of the application process okay so um the month i graduated was in may i think it was 26 may and 2016 okay yeah this was for my degree certificate then i move to the next question okay in which country did you obtain your degree or diploma certificate so i type in ghana okay and I put in the next question, select your study program from the following list, okay? So then you choose, okay? So it was a bachelor's degree for four years. So it depends on what you want to put in here. But right now, I am putting in my bachelor's degree information. If you are putting in your WASI information, you can put it here. It depends on what you want to do. And it depends on which country you also come from, okay? So I'm putting in my bachelor's degree um, of four years here. And I click on next question. Okay, so you have submitted the following details. My previous education, that's a bachelor's degree because I am putting in the application in anticipation for applying to a master's course. Okay, that is why I'm putting in this 
um, background so it all depends on you and then your dynamics and then your preference okay but make sure that you put in your previous education okay so add this to previous education okay so do you want to add an additional previous education so it all depends on you you can add from your high school to your degree to a master's level any level that you want but now i've added um my bachelor's degree so i don't want to add any again so i don't want to add any again so i just click on no okay so that is it and then i go to next but if you want to add you can always add here at your previous education okay so i click on next now this is the most important part choose a study program okay so this is where you can access all the schools in the netherlands depending on the program that you want and depending on the school that you have in mind one of the main reasons why i'm doing this video is because um, in my previous video, we spoke about how to apply for the NL scholarships. That is the study in Netherlands scholarships. And with the study in Netherlands scholarships, there are a list of schools that you have to apply to to be eligible for this scholarship. And before you can apply for the scholarship, you need to be granted admission into the school. And this is the platform that you would use to apply to the various schools, okay? So it depends on you. So for instance, maybe with the study in Netherlands, I'm looking at applying for the study in Netherlands scholarship at Utrecht, okay? So maybe I come here, education institution, and I type Utrecht, okay? So Utrecht University is here, and I click on it. And then I can look for the program level, let's say a master's degree. So I click on master, okay? So now, um, let me see, no HBO master. So the search is inaccurate. Then maybe I click WO master. Okay, yes, so this is it. So the courses are here. If it's in English, you see the British flag here that shows that the course is in English, okay? So it depends on the school and then the program, okay? So always tailor your search to the school and then the program that you want, okay? So once you put in the school here, you can always search any school that you want in the Netherlands can be found here. And this is how you put in your application, okay? So for instance, I'm looking at Utrecht, um, the master course, let's say I'm looking for, let's say, applied cognitive psychology, okay? So I click on select, okay? So this is the study program. Then I am aware that previous education obtained outside the Netherlands has to be verified by the educational institution, okay? So I click on this and then I click on next. So it depends on the course that you want, okay? So information concerning the application procedure will be sent by email. Please make sure to check your spam folder. Important messages may be flagged by your email provider okay so during my study link application i have filled in my correct and up-to-date email address the coming period i will check my inbox and spam folder for important messages from university of utility that is usual okay so i click on this and then i click on next question then after completing your admission request in study link you receive an email within two working days with login details for a series online application use these login details to upload the documents which are needed to complete your application file to a service online application. If you have not received your login details two working days after completing your study link application, I will contact my program administrator. Okay, so if you don't receive the link, you can always contact the program administrator for your program. Remember, all the universities have their various websites that you can contact the program administrators. Okay, so I click on this and then I click on next question. Okay, so ask me another question. Utrecht University offers students with disability. Uh, example, dyslexia, ASD, HD, autism, chronic mental health conditions or chronic illness, special adjustments to study. So this is on questions with disability. So I click on next. And then, would you like to receive more information about studying with disability at Utrecht? It depends on you, yes or no. So I just click on no, and I just move on to the next question. Um, still talks about um, the treatment of um, data. So I click on next question. So I give my permission to the use of my data, yes or no, it depends on you. I click on yes, move on to the next question, okay? So after that, 
you can save your answers once you save your answers and then you click on next okay so once you click on next it's going to give you your whole form and then you are going to look at all the information that you've put in here once you can confirm that the information is correct you just click on what i have checked all the details and they are correct okay so once you click on this then the next thing that you have to do is to confirm okay once you click on confirm in two working days you are going to receive a link once you click on that link you can start your application at utrecht university and this is how it goes for every university in the netherlands you have to start from this place okay so i just had to reiterate this i just had to um make this video to show you how you can create your steady link account and with that now when we are looking at applying to schools in the netherlands it becomes very very simple easy and then straight to the point for you so once you go through this process you are good to go to apply to any school in the netherlands you go through this process the link is going to be sent directly to your email and now that you have that link you can just upload the documents that are described on the program website page and that is it you have now created your study link account and started to apply to the school of your choice and then the program of your choice i hope you've learned something from this session i will definitely catch you on the flip side stay blessed and i am out